Hi there, guys. So, a quote from Bob Arum. Anthony Joshua is not an elite fighter. Kubrat Pulev will destroy him. Now, first of all, that is mildly amusing because what happened to Kubrat Pulev in the Vladimir Klitschko fight, he went all to pot. I mean, he couldn't do anything. Vladimir Klitschko battered him for five rounds. So what is Anthony Joshua going to do to Kubrat Pulev, a prime heavyweight world champion against someone who is 39 going on 40? And I mean, his best win on his record is Huey Fury. And Huey Fury had a cut over his eye going into that fight. It was micro-stitched and one little punch opened that straight back up. So Kubrat Pulev is not in any way at Anthony Joshua's level. He's never going to be. He never has been in his career. He's at the end of his career. I mean, obviously, Anthony Joshua has to fight him. This is IBF mandatory. So there is no option for Anthony Joshua. But if it was a voluntary would Anthony Joshua give Kubrat Pulev that opportunity? No, he probably wouldn't because Anthony Joshua has bigger fish to fry. He's looking for undisputed. He's looking for the Tyson Furies, the Dylan Whites, the Deontay Wilders. Those are the kind of fights that he wants. So Kubrat Pulev would not be on his hit list unless he had to be because he's just not on that level. So Kubrat Pulev going into this fight, I mean, he has a chance. Everyone has a chance. It's the heavyweight division. All it takes is one punch and Kubrat Pulev can whack, but he's not going to beat Anthony Joshua, especially considering Anthony Joshua has already been on the end of a defeat because he took his opponent lightly. Yes, the Andy Ruiz Jr. fight. I mean, he's obviously a better fighter than Andy Ruiz because in the rematch, he schooled him over 12 rounds, didn't lose a moment of that fight. So that proved that Anthony Joshua was a better fighter than Andy Ruiz Jr. And what happened on June 1st was a major oversight on the part of Anthony Joshua. In the rematch, he schooled him. And Anthony Joshua learned a valuable lesson, never to take an opponent lightly, never take your foot off the gas. Looking at other fights like Undisputed and even the Dylan White fights, the Luis Ortiz fights, never take your foot off the gas when you have a live opponent in front of you who wants to make history like Andy Ruiz Jr. did. So Anthony Joshua took a lot from that experience and he will apply it going forward in his career. And against Kubrat Pulev, Kubrat Pulev is made for Anthony Joshua. Very upright European style, likes to trade jabs. If he trades jabs with Anthony Joshua, he's going to end up on his ass because Anthony Joshua has weight in every single punch that he throws, including the jab. He really steps into it. And obviously, if Kubrat Pulev is going to be trading jabs, he has little to none head movement. So he's going to get caught and peppered with that jab all night. And he will not see that right hand coming. And it will be good night when it lands. Now, obviously, Kubrat Pulev winning would be perfect for Bob Arum. Because then, if Tyson Fury were to win at the weekend, then he has two heavyweight world champions. He can make a huge unification fight between Tyson Fury and Kubrat Pulev. Which, make no mistake about it, that is what they would want to do. But let me tell you this, Kubrat Pulev is not going to beat Anthony Joshua. He just doesn't have it. He's not a good enough fighter and Anthony Joshua is at a completely different level to Kubrat Pulev. And that is no disrespect to Kubrat Pulev. He is a solid fighter, but he is nowhere near the level of Anthony Joshua. Look at Joshua's record. Andy Ruiz Jr. twice, Alexander Povetkin, Carlos Takam, Joseph Parker, Vladimir Klitschko, Dylan White. That shows that Anthony Joshua is willing to take on any fighter who is willing to step up and fight him. And nine times out of 10, he wins. One oversight cost him the Andy Ruiz Jr. fight. It was an opportunity he created for Andy Ruiz Jr. He knocked him down. He rushed in to finish the show. And Andy Ruiz Jr. is an inside fighter. And that is his game. And Anthony Joshua granted him that golden ticket to get on the inside and trade up with him. And Andy Ruiz Jr. was always going to come out on top in that situation. But then look what happened in the rematch. Anthony Joshua completely shut him out. And he did not allow him to have that same success that he did in the first fight. And he schooled Andy Ruiz Jr. in the rematch in Saudi Arabia. Now, that's not all that Bob Arum said. He also said this. Anthony Joshua is fighting Kubrat Pulev in June. Pulev will knock Joshua out easier than Ruiz did. I promoted the vast majority of Andy Ruiz fights and he's an ordinary heavyweight, maybe a little bit better than the average, but that's all he is. To get knocked out by the likes of Andy Ruiz means Joshua is not elite. Before the Ruiz fight, you could have argued that he was elite, but you can't argue that anymore. Okay, you can't argue that anymore. Anthony Joshua is a two-time heavyweight world champion, one of four to ever win an immediate rematch for a heavyweight world title, alongside the likes of Floyd Patterson, Lennox Lewis and Muhammad Ali. Now, is that bad company to be in? I don't think so. So that kind of refutes Bob Arum's claims there that Anthony Joshua is not elite because Anthony Joshua has etched his name in history alongside many of the greats, such as Lennox Lewis, Floyd Patterson and the great Muhammad Ali. 
by winning that immediate rematch for the heavyweight world title in Saudi Arabia against Andy Ruiz Jr. Now obviously Bob Arum is a promoter, he's Kubrat Pulev's promoter and he was Andy Ruiz Jr's promoter. So he's speaking from experience that Andy Ruiz Jr is an ordinary fighter. Even though he went over to New Zealand, fought an undefeated heavyweight in Joseph Parker, lost a narrow decision and then became heavyweight world champion, the first ever Mexican to do so. But guess what guys, he wasn't promoted by Bob Arum when he done that. Imagine if Bob Arum was the one who was promoting Andy Ruiz when he beat Anthony Joshua, he would not be saying anything like this. Let's remember, promoters are pretty much used car salesmen. If they have the fighter, then they are the best thing since sliced bread. If they don't have the fighter, then they are nothing special until the fighter is signed with them. Then in that instance, they are the best thing since sliced bread. Guys, what are your thoughts on this? Bob Arum's comments towards Anthony Joshua. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, click the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.